Hello, my name is Brian Connolly. I am a food safety applications specialist here in Burlington, Massachusetts. Uh, and my job is to help customers find better, faster, more accurate ways to test their products for microbial contamination. Hello, my name is Shikeba Sherzai. I'm an application and training scientist at Burlington, Massachusetts. My job is to help our customers understand the science behind the instruments that they are using, as well as how to apply the instrument to the consumables. What sparked my interest in science was I've always been curious about the human body, why we get sick, how we get better, and the role food and nutrition plays in making the human body heal itself. What sparked my curiosity in science was back in the day when I was in high school, um, probably like one of you sitting and watching this video, I was watching a video where a group of people were testing water and they were testing for microbials in the water. So I was curious what work goes into science and the testing of it. So I further my education in that. And I travel, I work in the lab and I also travel and to customer sites and other location while testing. Um, if you are interested in science, please trust me and further your education in science because in science, sky's the limit. Now we're gonna start diluting our samples, our tomatoes. So we're gonna start tearing our equipment, the diluter, once it's teared. And I'm gonna add my samples to this. two slices of tomato. It's gonna give me one to 10 dilution, which is like tenfold. And all I have to do is click go. It's gonna add buffer to it to dilute. So now it beeped and our dilution is done. I'm gonna take our sample and we have our homogenizer here. I'm gonna put our sample in this. It basically will blend our sample when we're ready for extraction. It's gonna do it for two minutes. So the blending now is done. As you can see our sample, the tomato has blended really well. And we have our liquid extract that we're gonna take. We're gonna come over in the hood area here. Put the sample in a secure area. And then we'll have a pipe cutter. We have these MC Media pads which we're gonna put our extracted samples into and then we're gonna incubate this. So we'll have the one mil pipetter. Take our sample. Take our sample. All right, got my sample here. Uh, push this down so the solution can come up. I'm gonna go in there. Draw one mil of my sample up. And the sample back here. This is the pad that I'm Putting my sample on. And then we're going to put this aside. Here we go. Sample goes back here. Oops. And we have the other pad. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put our solution right in the center and let it absorb and then this can go on the side too and 
the last sample. And then what we're going to do is secure the surrounding before it goes in the incubator. So we take out any air bubbles that doesn't interfere with the growth of the pad and the uh, microbes. So now we have these pads um, to test for Easton mold. So they're going to get incubated for two to three days, 48 to 72 hours. And we're going to go and put this in the incubator. And they can just get stacked on top of each other like this. And after 48 to 72 hours, we'll come back and take this out and we'll show you the growth. Hello everyone, again this is Shikeba. I just wanted to bring your attention to our um, results. So right here we had the tomato that we inoculated in the yeast and mold MC Media pads. And then this is also, we did something parallel uh, for e, uh, e. coli for the lettuce. So as you can see, you'll see some of them have small colonies separate and some of them have full colonies that are completely um, filled. So the common questions I get asked while I tell people that my job is application and training scientist, they say, what does that even mean? It basically means what the title says, application I apply the science behind what the instrument is when it comes to food and training, basically I train the customers how to use the instruments that they're working with, as well as how to appropriately apply the consumables on the instruments. Other questions may be like, hey, are you working nine to five job? Is it like hourly? My job is not hourly. It's basically as I go because I travel a lot. I travel two weeks out of the month, which is considerably a lot. But when we're not that busy, there's less traveling. So one of the questions I get asked is, uh, what is food safety? What, what are you talking about? What do you, what do you actually do? And what we're really talking about is the growth of microorganisms uh, in food. <clears throat> now, people are often surprised when they hear that because it's like, what? There's bacteria in my food? And, and of course, there's bacteria everywhere. In fact, there's more bacteria in your body than there are cells in your body. So while there are trillions of bacteria in, in the body, in the human body, or in other animals, uh, the vast majority of them do not make you sick. In fact, they're necessary um, for your uh, overall digestive health. That's where the vast majority of them are in the digestive tract. Um, there are some that can be present, and that's usually what causes illness, when you get a bacteria in there that doesn't belong there, and that makes you sick. And that's what we're concerned about, is finding those particular bacteria. As I said, sky is the limit for science. So doesn't mean that you have to become application and training scientists. If you pursue a career in science, there's so many jobs, and you will find what you love to do. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.